What is a test scenario? Any functionality that must be tested is called a test scenario or test case. Once you are in the testing phase, think about what you need to focus on when planning to list out the test scenarios or test cases. Focus first mainly on the functionality of the software. The very first step is to check the functions that are required to be tested. There could be functional as well as non-functional test scenarios that you need to list out. How you will do that? While you start listing out the test scenarios for the application under test, for example, the registration page or login page, go through the business requirement specifications, software requirement specifications, and functional requirement specification to understand the basics and the purpose of the software or the application that you are working on. It is the tester's responsibility to think like a real-time user and create test scenarios that could be used from the user's point of view. Identify each scenario requirement and its functionality that is required to test in order to run the software without any difficulties or errors. Identify any technical issues or errors that are needed to be fixed so the software runs smoothly. Analyze and detect any possible abuse scenarios. In fact, keep a hacker's eyes to evaluate the software. I have just randomly googled some registration form templates to show you as an example to get some idea about it and what it looks like. I am going to simply click on the sign up for free button. It will take me to the page where you will see and understand the necessary fields that are required. But then I will show you how to step by step create and write down the scenarios according to the document that specifies the requirement. You can see the full name field, the email ID field, username field, then again the password and confirm password field. Now this is just a ready-made template that you can create test scenarios for practice anytime. But now let's move on to the documentation requirement that I will show you how to create test scenarios and execute them later on. Before we begin creating the test scenarios, I will give you some example of the requirement document that you need to go through. Suppose the requirements are ID FR3, which means functional requirement ID3. Title, title should be registration form functionality. DESC, that is description, in order to sign up for the registration form. The user should type in the email ID, password and username in order to create an account. Also, there are some conditions and criteria set for the password. Such as the password should not be less than 8 characters and should have uppercase, lowercase and alphanumeric. Which means that the password must include numbers and letters both and also have one special character that is symbol or any sign. So basically there are three required fields that are needed to be tested according to the document. The email ID field, password field and username field. DEP, dependency FR1 which says that FR3 depends on FR1. This means this is important because it specifies the order of execution on scenarios. As now we know there are three fields to test, email ID field, password field and username field. So what could be the possible scenarios you can create by thinking from the user's point of view? The first scenario that you can create is by putting a valid email ID and the invalid email ID and then testing it so that you can check the end results or the outcome while executing the test scenarios later on. 
there are two ways you can create scenarios like i said valid or invalid valid scenarios are positive scenarios or say normal scenarios such as putting up the real name real password to sign up or the other ones are invalid scenarios which are negative ones expected to cause negative effects on the system such as putting up an invalid name and password to sign up or the third scenario could be forgetting to put the password or email id or username on the fields and creating and testing each of the scenarios separately to understand what are the effects on the system you may use any tool to create these scenarios to test more or less they are almost same the only thing that is important is the concept of imagining and creating scenarios the concept should be very clear to the tester so be comfortable to practice these creating and testing scenarios for any application for your experience and share me your thoughts evaluate every possible feature of the software that a user might go through while using it as i said there is no specific or best tool to test the scenarios you may be provided the tool via company or you may use any free tool that is available to you for testing the application as a tester your role is to go and edit any requirement that needs to be updated with the new requirement while you are creating scenarios for the application under test let's now create scenarios for the fields specified in the requirement document and that is email id field password field and the username field for the email id field what could be the possible scenarios you can create it could be a valid and invalid conditions to test the email id so you may write first verify the registration form by a valid email id for example lalit@gmail.com second verify the registration form by a non valid email id for example abc at the rate 234 incomplete id also third verify the registration form by leaving the email id field empty fourth verify the registration form by leaving the password field empty fifth verify the registration form by leaving the username field empty so these could be the scenarios to test separately by leaving one field empty at a time to see the expected results while executing the tests but for the password field we have a condition set and those are password should not be less than 8 characters password should have upper case and lower case letters password should be alphanumeric password should have one special character or symbol so there are five required criteria for the password so what we are going to do is we will create the five scenarios for the password check each time we will follow four requirements correctly by leaving the fifth one empty and see what is the error message that abuses the user the first one is verify the registration form by using the short password that is abc at the rate 23 so this is less than 8 characters and it is very short verify the registration form by not including upper case letter abc at the rate 23 third one is verify the registration form by not including the lower case letter that is abc at the rate 23 The fourth one is verify the registration form by not including any numbers that is abc at the rate de The fifth one is verify the registration form by not including any special character or symbol that is abcdef So now that we have created all the possible scenarios for the password let's move on to the other requirement field that is username so is there any condition set for creating the username 
no. For the username field, what could be the valid and invalid scenarios possible? Since in most applications, the username should be at least five to six characters minimum, I'm in general showing you a simple example of the scenarios that could be prepared. If the requirement document specifies any specific length of username, let's say it says that the username should be five characters minimum, then you must create scenarios according to that. It is going to be the same as we created for the password field. We will create the scenarios by putting four characters valid, leaving one character invalid or missing. But now, since the document didn't mention any specific length of the username, I'm in general showing you the simple example for the scenarios that could be prepared using invalid username, that is too short username or already used username. So the scenarios are verify the registration form with the short username, for example, me, that is invalid username. The expected result must be too short username or invalid username, please choose a minimum of five characters to create a username. And the other one is verify the registration form by the already used username. This could be another invalid scenario. The expected result for the invalid username should be this username has already been taken. You may choose one from below. Please note, the expected results could only be mentioned while creating test cases, not when creating the scenarios. Once you are done listing out the best possible scenarios, now create a traceability matrix between the test scenarios and the requirements. Traceability, as we know, is a table type matrix document that is used to trace requirements during software development. It can be used for both forward and backward tracing. It is also known as requirement traceability matrix or cross-reference matrix. After done with documenting almost every part and testing the application, get it reviewed by someone like a senior tester or any other tester from the team to double check. This is all about how to create and write test scenarios. In my next upcoming videos, I will show you how to use a free tool to write the test scenarios and execute them later. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.